All right, so moving on to the next segment. Should the NBA get rid of the NBA draft lottery system? So this is a spicy segment, and I just feel like this is something that just needed to be addressed on the podcast based on how the NBA draft lottery system played out this year with a month away from the NBA draft. So I do believe that the NBA draft lottery should stay intact with the NBA. I don't believe that the NBA should get rid of the draft lottery system, but I do believe that there needs to be a change to the NBA draft lottery system. That being said, instead of 14 teams, I think the NBA draft lottery should be only eligible to six teams. The six worst teams record-wise in the NBA during the NBA regular season should be the only teams eligible for the NBA draft lottery system moving forward. Because I'm looking at this this year. The Atlanta Hawks were a part of the NBA play uh, po- uh the NBA play in tournament. And they had a shot of making the NBA playoffs. And they had the number one overall pick this NBA draft. And I'm looking at the number three selection. The Houston Rockets finished the season with at 41 and 41. Uh, 500 and they find themselves with the third overall pick in this draft and man I feel so bad for the Detroit Pistons they have went 54 and 94 in the last NBA in the last three seasons in the NBA and they have not had the first overall pick after being the worst team in the league for three straight years last year they missed out on Victor Wembeyama with the first overall pick and the 2022 draft, they missed out on Paolo Pancheria with their first overall pick. Now, for the third consecutive year in a row, having the worst record, you're going to miss out on the number one overall pick. There needs to be some justice for the Detroit Pistons because life is not getting better for that franchise. And Man, that's a tough pill to swallow. If I was a Pistons fan out there watching, listen, I would be sick to my stomach. That <laughs> Somehow, some way, you could get some help and you don't have the number one, the last I mean they did have the number one overall pick um I believe in 2021 where they got Cade Cunningham but after that can you imagine they at least got Paolo Pancherio or Victor Ramayama maybe they wouldn't be so bad of having 54 wins and 194 losses in a three-year span I just I feel so bad for the franchise but as I digress, um, I get that some people might want a change to the NBA draft lottery system. But I just felt like I just feel like there's no change that they, they, they could just change it in a way that I just said it instead of having 14 teams eligible. And hey, you got a team that if you don't make the playoffs from the play from the play in tournament then you can become eligible for the NBA draft lotteries. I don't think that's fair. And like I said, that's why I think six teams, the six worst teams that had the the worst the worst six teams record wise should be eligible for the NBA draft lottery. That's how it should work. And I feel like the NBA should keep this because you look at the other major leagues, uh like the MLB for baseball, the NFL for football, they don't have a draft lottery system. And this the NBA having a draft lottery system in reality does prevent teams from purposely tanking to lose games to get the first overall pick. Because if that was the if that was the Pistons plan for the last three years, going fifty four and nine hundred and ninety four, that plan doesn't work out. So I get why the uh the Adam Silver does keep this intact. Um but I just feel like it sucks for a team like the Pistons, like the Pistons, that have actually been the odds-on favorite the last three years to have the number one overall pick for the NBA draft. They haven't had it, and I just feel like for a team like that, that you know that they're not gonna get a top-tier free agent this upcoming summer. You know that guys that are uh, eligible to be free agents like LeBron, Paul George, James Harden, Clay Thompson. You know damn well they're not signing with the Detroit Pistons this NBA offseason. And I keep picking on the Pistons, but they're just my prime example of the NBA draft lottery should go to teams that actually really need it. 
instead of a team like the Hawks that were just one a, a few two games away from making the playoffs but end up with the first overall pick, or the Houston Rockets that finished above that finished at 500 and find themselves with the third overall pick in this draft. I just feel like we got to be more fair to the teams that are struggling. But those are my thoughts on if the NBA draft lottery system should change or if the NBA draft lottery should officially exit away from the NBA world.